to do four different vibratos. To start, first one is only four per bow. Second one is going to be something a little louder and kind of loose and some sort of medium slow. Something like that. Okay? And then the third one is going to be sort of the real vibrato, so not so slow anymore, more narrow, more, more intensity. Fourth one, where are you going to go absolutely wild, and you just you, you go as fast as you can, as loud as you can, and kind of crazy. Okay, <laughs> so those are going to be your four vibratos. Show me number one. Remember, number one was just four per bow. So one and. That's right, so that is your first one. Now here's what you're gonna practice when you do the first one, is you want to make sure you have no stops whatsoever. So the vibrato should be sort of like a sinus wave, right? It's completely around it at all times, so no zigzag motion. So... It's the sound kind of wow, 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 that's it. Try that. And maybe, you know what? One more thing, uh, you can put the bone straight. I mean, you have to hold it. So that's your first one, so nice and round, okay? Now your second one, remember, it's going to be this. string or B string doesn't matter. Good, and then the second finger. Very good. So with this vibrato, what I would like you to practice when you go home is that the tempo is always the same, the speed is exactly the same. Not that music is that way, but you should be the boss of your vibrato. So you learn how to control the speed of your vibrato. It's always the same. You see, it doesn't slow down, and it doesn't speed up. By the way, at the end of the note, same thing, don't let it speed up, don't let it slow down, exactly the same. You just put down a different finger, but the arm moves the same way. Very good. That's much harder than you can ever imagine. If you've tried this, if you're a violinist, to not change the speed when you put a finger down, you did really well. Okay, good, so that's your number two. Now your third vibrato is the one that you're gonna use multiple times. So, and you practice one note at a time. And then you stop and you think, and you listen. What did I like about this note? What did I like about my vibrato? What can I do better? And then you play the same note again. Try it. Good. Now, if that's your everyday vibrato, I would have paid two dollars and fifty cents for this note to come and hear you play it. Can you play me a note that I will pay fifteen dollars to come here? One note. <coughs> so that's about the ticket, the price of a movie ticket. Not cheap. So you're gonna give me more vibrato, more speed. I 
think it's getting there. So with this third vibrato, what you want to practice is more personality, more character, right? How about the second finger? Let's try. Lots of speed, lots of personality, and to be musical. Great, that has personality. Can it have even more? Sizzle. You know what I mean with sizzle? It's like when you have a hot frying pan and you're about to put something in that pan that goes <laughs> that sort of energy. Yes. Even a little faster. Very good. And then you do the third finger and the fourth finger. So you practice the individual notes. That is going to be your number three vibrato. Remember the first one? Just four per bow, right? In sinus way. The second one, remember the second one? Exactly. Plus, you're going to control the speed. It's always the same, right? And the third one, we go for personality. And then the fourth one, and you can do that at home in, your, in the privacy of your practice room or your, wherever you practice and you just go absolutely wild. So you practice how to get faster and faster and faster. So like an electric guitar solo in a rock band. Okay, so those are your four vibratos. And I think if you practice that a little while, you'll, you'll start to hear more colors and more interesting speeds and differences in the tone.